Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Wine Guy. Today I want to present this bottle. It's called Gamla, G-A-M-L-A. It's from the Golan Heights Winery in Golan Heights, Israel. 2006 Pinot Noir, 14.5% alcohol. Now, when you look on the back panel here, you will see that it is K for kosher and P for Passover. So please keep in mind, and I'm sure it's obvious that you don't need to be observing either tradition, uh, the uh, Passover holiday or the, the kosher uh, observation. But it, it's really something that in, in the whole wine world, really the Mediterranean is, is such a splendid area for growing wine grapes. And the discovery of wine grapes in this region is really exciting because in some ways it's old and some ways it's really new. So old because this is you know a wine region that is pretty ancient. And then new because Really, when you think of the cultivation of these grapes, they, they really go back to a Bordeaux, Burgundy style. And while that's great, it's also something that is, I think, really going to change in some ways. It's probably there because a lot of people expect to, to buy and to have a demand for the classic Bordeaux styles. So that's one reason. It's just the market is requiring that in some ways. But I think that over time, and this region will produce some really outstanding wines, and it's doing that already, is that you're going to find layering on other varietals. Maybe it's from Greece or Italy or Spain, but I think that's going to happen. So it's really fun. And also, by the way, this is my first Israeli wine vlog. It's my, or actually my first wine vlog of an Israeli wine. Better way of putting that. So um, it's, it's always fun to discover wine. It's fun to discover Pinot Noir and how it changes from terroir to terroir. And so that's the fun thing to talk about and to experience and to taste. So it's fun to talk about, even funner to taste it. So this wine is surprising to me because it has a very brambleberry characteristic. Raspberry, boysenberry, blackberry. And I would expect more cherry and floral characteristics. And I'm really, we're all used to the California Oregon, New Zealand, and of course the mothership, Burgundy for Pinot Noir. And so when something's slightly out of that zone, we, we kind of think, oh, that's interesting. I didn't quite expect that. Neither bad nor good. It's just what it is. So this is a wine that is really, really has a bramble characteristic, some eucalyptus, and finishing off with some black pepper. I give this wine an 8.7 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesofwinegui.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube and please follow me on Twitter, James the Wine Guy. James the Wine Guy on Twitter, James the Wine Guy on YouTube. Salud.